In this example, I want to try to find a power series centered at zero for the function 2 over 1 plus x. Now there's more than one way to approach this problem. Uh, if you're familiar with Taylor series, you could find its Taylor series, which is a power series, um, is centered at zero, so it would actually be a Maclaurin series. Uh, or the, the way I think I'm going to approach this is when I look at this, the thing that jumps out to me is this very closely resembles a over one minus R, which would make it a geometric type power series. So because that looks so similar, I think I'm gonna go that route. So let's remind ourselves, what does a geometric power series look like? Well, it says if you have a function of the form A over one minus R, you can write that as the sum from zero to infinity of A times R to the N. But there's one hiccup, and I picked this example on purpose because I want you to know how to be able to handle this problem. This is very picky. This has to be a one, which that's not really our issue because we have a one as well. The A could be any constant, which we have two. That's not a big deal. The issue we have is this has to be a minus, but unfortunately we have a plus. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. How do you account for writing things as geometric power series if you've got a plus, but the formula demands a minus. Well, it's actually a pretty easy fix. Here, here's what we're gonna do. If we have two over one minus x, we can actually rewrite this guy as two over one minus what? What, what would we need, need in this parentheses in order to make this have a minus on the outside, but still mean plus x? I think simply two over one minus negative x, that, and that's all we need to do because a double negative will make a positive here, and this is still technically the format of a over one minus r, and so we can still proceed as normal. So this will equal the sum from n equals zero to infinity of a times r to the n where the r is the entire negative x. And what most people will do is if you have a negative x, any negative number, you know, any negative number, you can break it apart into negative one times the positive number. And so that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna separate negative x into negative one times x. So a good final answer would be the sum n equals zero to infinity, two times negative one to the n power times x to the n power. So just remember when you have a, a plus sign but you need a negative for the geometric series formula, put a negative in there but then make the term after the minus also negative and you'll be able to finish the problem with very little trouble.